Hi, I'm Chris. Welcome to version 1.14 of OctoApp. I'm currently not at home, but the new version is ready, so I don't want to let you wait. But before we look at 1.14, there's one important feature I want to highlight, which was added to 1.13. And that's introduction of a lefty mode. So if you're left-handed, you can now mirror the bottom toolbar, so it's easier for you to confirm actions by swiping. But what's new in 1.14? 1.14 is completely focused on plugin support. That means I added support for very important plugins that were not supported so far. Let's start with ngrok. With 1.14, Okta will automatically detect that the ngrok plugin is installed and will pull the remote URL whenever it changes. The second important plugin that's now supported is Octolabs. With 1.13 and older, you could start prints with Octolabs being enabled because you need to confirm the snapshot preview plan in the web interface. Version 1.14 now allows you to confirm the snapshot preview plan also in Octoapp. So you can stay in Octoapp to start your print from start to finish. The third plugin that's now supported is the MMU2 Filament Select plugin. Similar to Octolabs, you need to confirm which filament to use before starting a print. With 1.13 and older, you had to open the web interface to make this filament selection. 1.14 now shows the same selection dialog in OctoApp whenever it pops up in a web interface. You can select filaments that are manually added or that are imported from Spool Manager or Filament Manager. The fourth plugin is brand new. It's the new USB Relay Control plugin. It allows you to control USB relays that are connected to your Raspberry. You can use the devices from the relays to either turn on and off your printer or to control lights. The last feature has nothing to do with plugins, but I think it's super important. It's cache settings. When you use OctoApp, a lot of data gets cached on your phone. For example, G-code files that are downloaded or time lapses. With 1.14, there's now a cache setting where you can control how much data is cached and you can clear the caches at any point of time. There's now also a new HTTP cache that allows OctoApp to reuse previous responses from OctoPrint whenever OctoPrint indicates that they won't change. And that's version 1.14. And as always, there were a lot of bug fixes and small improvements in the background. Make sure to subscribe for upcoming tutorials and other news. Enjoy the app and happy printing!